What's going on guys, Josh here with No Vision Media. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to install ZXP files or extension files to After Effects and Premiere Pro CC. So the way that we would do this is basically um, by going ahead to a specific website of the extension that we would like to install or download. So I have Motion Bro and Animation Studio. The links will be in the video description for you guys to check these out and then download them yourself. And then there are two specific installers uh, that I have found. Uh, one I prefer the most and I will let you know which one that would be. So we have the ZXP installer, which is a very minimalistic installer. And the other one is by AE Scripts. Um, it's also another ZXP installer, but this one I recommend the most and I will show you why. So if we go ahead and we have our uh, ZXP files or extension files already downloaded onto our desktop, and then you can open up whichever program you want. I have both of them installed for the purpose of this uh, tutorial video. As you can see, it's very minimalistic. All you have to do is just drag it onto here. I'll go ahead and start installing your in extension. You'll hit yes. And it'll say has been installed. Please restart your Adobe application. That's pretty much it. And then the other one that I really like is the one by AE scripts and it's this one right here so you can also drag the file onto here or hit file open and look for the area in which the uh, file is in and what I love about this one is because it shows you uh, the program in which these extensions are installed so if it was a Premiere Pro based extension it would show Premiere Pro and it shows the compatibility the version name of the plugin you can even click on it uninstall it you can reset it so basically refresh it and then you could even disable that specific plugin in case for some reason your program has been crashing because that can cause uh, crashing of a program certain extensions or plugins and you could even enable it back once you get that resolved so this is a very intuitive one uh, it gives me a list of what has been installed so i don't have to go through other means uh, like going through the file explorer or the control panel to try to find what i have installed um, so i recommend this one links will be on the video description for both uh, down below also for those two extensions that i've used here as an example on the video if you guys have any other suggestions for videos to come on the no vision media channel in terms of tutorials please let us know in the comments down below if you're watching this on facebook same thing leave a comment down below hit the like button if you like uh, this video uh, react any way you want if you're watching this on Facebook and make sure to share with your friends because uh, if they're not aware of this then it's good to also put a light on it but hope you guys enjoy this video I'm Joshua from No Vision Media and I'll check you guys out later take care